Okay, YouTubers. What I've done here now is to uh, incorporate the divisions of the uh, each individual nesting boxes with the uh, framework or stub work. And the reason why I've done this is the, so the bump out in the back of the coop wouldn't, wouldn't be as big and it'd be more slim line. I also finished this lip right there and the lip is going to be movable thereby let me show you right here thereby you can increase the floor of each individual nesting box or when you clean out the coop uh, you want to have a lip to uh, contend with. You just sweep it out from the inside or the outside or whatever. Uh, right here, I've got springs on the uh, the lid. I'm going to show you how it works when I get out to the outside of the coop. But from here, back wall to here is approximately 12 inches well within the uh, bounds of what they want you to have to uh, build a nesting box. Also you see I built the perch. This movable lip to keep the nesting in is going to uh, have locking me mechanisms so uh, however you want to extend the uh, the lip you can now I'm going to move back and s give you a better view of the, the overall look of the coop and then I'm going to take you to the outside and show you what I've done <coughs> 